Hello, welcome to this first course on uh, Inkscape for engineers and scientists. And in this first le lesson, I will show you how to open, convert, export, and process um, different uh, files, graphical files of different formats from uh, raster graphics and from vector graphics. Okay, let's uh, start with the first example, uh, a PDF file. I will simply uh, drag and drop um, my PDF file. I will use external library to process it. Click here. Okay, here it is. We can zoom. Okay, and see that it's vector graphics, no pixels here. Uh, how, uh, by the way, how I zoom? I simply press control button and scroll up to zoom in or scroll down to zoom out and notice that uh, it zooms where the cursor is so i scroll up here and it will zoom exactly at the, pool, at the location where the cursor is located okay uh, now i can type control shift d to call document properties menu and it will resize the content to the selection. I, I will resize the page size to the selection. If I type in 5, I will uh, maximize the view. Okay, that's our uh, vector graphics document. Okay, now in order to change, to make some changes to this document, I will need to ungroup the elements. I select this object and either I click this button here to ungroup objects or I click Ctrl U to ungroup them. And now I can select individual elements like this, for example, move it, okay, or change the color. So I can do anything, whatever I want with the elements. Okay, now this, uh, this object can be saved like SVG file, okay, or you can select any other appropriate format for you, there are different possibilities, or you can export this, uh, this figure as a raster graphics, for example, I will export it as a JPEG, in my folder, save, again okay, here I can change the width, height or the resolution, okay, so now I can show you, so here is my exported bitmap graphics, you can see now it's pixelized object, again okay, it's raster graphics. Okay, let's go back here. I will delete it and I will show you how to open raster graphics. For example, I take this example, I drag and drop here, embed, and Ctrl Shift D, resize to content. Okay, that's my a photo of a blackboard. What you what kind of operations you can do in this? Despite all, uh, apart from all classical filters that you can imagine, for example, for color uh, modifications, brightness control, brightness uh, contrast, and so on, you can uh, crop it. For example, to crop, what I use. I will make a rectangle and I select uh, with the shift in both objects. I click object, clip, set clip, okay, and it will clip this part of image over which the, tra the rectangle was uh, drawn. Ctrl Z, okay, that's the simplest example I can draw any any shape okay. 
and crop the image to the shape. Okay. A good way to crop something is to use transparency in order to like it uh, properly this uh, this cropping frame. So I will call fill and stroke and I will reduce the opacity of this rectangle. Okay, now I can properly locate my rectangle where I need it. And now I select everything and clip that clip. Okay, this clip, of course, uh, at later stages it could be removed. You simply clip object, clip, release clip, and it returns the full image and the rectangle which I used to clip it. Okay. I go back. <coughs> and now uh, I will show you a very powerful tool which can be used, um, which could be used in Inkscape. It's to the conversion from raster graphics to vector graphics. So this, uh, this image is mainly to color it as dark and light and uh, we can easily convert this to vector format by using this tool, Pass, Trace Bitmap. And there are different uh, kinds of uh, bitmap tracing. The simplest one would be the brightness cutoff for a single scan. You will need simply to define the threshold. Okay, I apply. And Inkscape transforms me this uh, bitmap raster graphics to vector graphics with uh, editable objects. Okay, let select me the color of the blackboard. I click F7, F7, sorry, to select um, the color. Okay, uh, and now. You can see that it's a vector graphics now. I can clean it. I click F2 to modify control points in my curves. Or for example, I can select this object. Hmm. Control C, Control V, change the color. I will clean it. So it's, this is the shape shown here, right? So in this way, <coughs> you can con construct uh, some editable vector graphics objects from a raster image. Okay. This example number two. Example number three. Why would we need, for example, uh, use um, raster graphics in a vector graphical format. A good idea is, for example, if you want to take a raster photo, Ctrl Shift G to resize the contents, um, I have a photo of um, some experimental machine and I want to annotate it let me select a rectangle. I will make a rounded rectangle without transparency, with a transparent fill and with, say, orange contour. To uh, select the color of the contour, you need to click Shift and next select the color size. 
if you uh, select this one it will be no control the transparent control if i click uh, with shift again this will be control of some thickness or some color and if i click without shift there will be the fill color okay let me make the stroke thicker like five millimeter i select transparency and i will select the stroke type as dashed line and orange color like this okay i will draw an extra line of the same thickness five millimeters the same color i click f7 to select the color and with shift i select this color okay now i can annotate this object that's a known the size will be bigger okay so i have annotated my uh, figure i will crop it a little bit make rectangle without rounded corners without contour so i will need only this part now i select with shift i select the background image object clip set clip okay I resize to content. Okay, now I would like to save this this uh, image as vector graphics. I mean, file, save a copy. Yep. Annotate it. Save. And. Uh, I'll need to decide either I embed the fonts, make the text selectable, or I just convert the text to path. Let's embed the fonts. Uh, and here you define the uh, resolution for the raster graphics. Okay. Okay, it's saved. It should be here, this annotated object. And the text you can see is selectable. What's the advantage uh, to save uh, raster graphics combined with vector graphics as a editable pdf file the advantage that if uh, you want to change something you don't lose any information about the background image right now i can close here and open again this file And if I want to change something, I ungroup everything. I can select, I can change it by location of this stuff or rename this to something else. So I don't lose any information, any part of image that was left behind these lines. That's a big advantage. All right. Next example would be another usage of um, raster images. Imagine that we want to show on our presentation on in, in our paper this fracture surface. Okay, but I want to get rid of the background. To do so, I will simply draw a spline around this object I 
I select the ground image, clip, set clip. Okay, and now I can add this part of figure to to my vector graphics uh, uh, explication, for example. I don't know. You can write it. Fracture surface. Okay, that's how we can integrate uh, a parts of a, a raster graphics image to to some figure or scheme or whatever. Okay, one more example about uh, how to convert raster graphics into vector graphics. Some pictures are particularly easy to convert into vector graphics. Let's take this picture of Henri Matisse. We resize it to content. Okay, and use path trace bitmap. Now we'll use multicolor bitmap. Not with brightness tab, but with colors. So we'll use it. We can control the number of colors that we want to use. Three is too small to represent this picture. Four, five. Now it seems with seven colors, we have all the elements there. Apply. And now we have a copy, a vector copy of this raster image. And of course now we can we have a full control about all elements of the figure. We can change whatever we want. We can change the color of objects. Oops, we need to ungroup first, ungroup. And now we can change the color of this part and so on. Okay. We can remove some objects, for example, this one. I don't want it to be here. I find it's better without this flower. Okay, so we have control over everything. And the last example I want to show, it's Picasso, Dove of Peace. And here, are, for example, we want to remove these flowers from the uh, Dove and use only the Dove. Okay, we single skull can would be enough with the brightness cutoff. Okay, like this, apply. And now we have our dove, which is made of spline. Uh, to easily remove these objects, we'll do pass, break apart, and it will separate all separate objects and splines. So now we can select it. So, and we can use, we can group it again, path, combine. And use this part of the, of this uh, DAF of piece. Of course, the same operations could be done with the uh, uh, raster graphics editable software, but uh, uh, it's better to use vector graphics, of course. Now, uh, a few more advanced examples. For example, I want to extract something from a PDF uh, of scientific article. Okay, let's take this file, drag it, and drop here. I don't need to import all the files. I will import page number 11. Use an external library. Okay. I imported page 
11 from the from the scientific paper and for example i need this uh, this figure this photo for to use somewhere else or to show something else you can see i can ungroup it and authors of this paper are smartly didn't save this figure as raster graphics you see this object is vector graphics i can simply select it and delete and now i can use this image without this uh, frames the same for this part of image okay and the same oh no this was saved as a uh, raster graphics you can see and you can I cannot extract uh, separate lines from here. Okay, let's close it. And one more example. I import another PDF file, page 15. Take. <coughs> okay, now I want to show you that we can extract some data some plots i ungroup all the objects control u i will keep only this part and for example i want to extract all these green points it's not easy to select them all however there is a nice tool in inkscape i can select the same with the fill the same fill color select and you can see control c control v that i could extract all green points right and so i can use this figure somewhere else if if needed of course i cannot change the author of this of this uh, graph, I will need to mention its author. It's myself, you know, in this case. Okay, that's it for the first part. Thank you for your attention. In the next course, in the next lesson, we will learn how to uh, create simple objects like circles, uh, rectangles, and so on.